I'm Matt Harris, and you're watching Bump in the Night TV. <laughs> Bump in the Night TV fiends. I'm your host, Orson Hills, and with me always is my sidekick extraordinaire, Bourbon Hitchcock. Hey! So, uh, what's the uh, topic for tonight, Bourbon? I've got a good one tonight. Slashers in horror movies. And top five. All right, I'll put down my good stab in Slashers. And uh, I shall pour myself a drink. Would you like one? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know what you got us today, but yes. All right. So, uh, slasher films. All right, what do you consider a slasher film? Well, I did a little bit of research, and I got to thinking. You did research? I did research. Okay. There are a couple of, I believe, defining things that make a movie uh, Quote a slasher film. Okay. Hit me with One, it. they have to be human. So it has to be human that does the slashing. Okay. And then two, I believe that there there has to be a body count. Because you can't you can't really call it a slasher film where just one person dies. So it has to be a, a pretty pretty good body count. Yeah, nobody dies is not scary at all. Yeah, I got you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some people would say there has to be some type of like a home invasion or a, a building that you're occupying would have to be invaded to be oh, a slasher. Okay. Because they have to chase you, you know, to create the, the chase okay. scene. Okay, all right. So, um, and then you, like I said, usually there's a chase scene involved. I believe... You wouldn't have a slice of film if you wasn't running from from your killer, from your JC. Okay, yeah, I mean, that would make for a very uh, boring movie if everybody just kind of sit on the couch and got off to the numbers they set in the order. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, I can argue with you on the first topic. You know, uh, do they have to be human? I think so. I mean... I believe so. Yeah. I really consider a slasher, any killer that uses a uh, an edged weapon. So, your Freddy Krueger, that's a slasher. So, in theory, what you're saying is, is if a guy had a uh, fighting chicken farm, and the fighting chickens got mutated, you're so and, they broke, what? <laughs> and they broke loose and started killing people, that would be considered a slasher film. No, that would be uh, a monster animal horror film. Now, if he was using the chicken feed himself to cut people up, I could see that being a slasher. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, because you're cutting out some of the great slashers, Michael Myers. I mean, he's more than human. Well, in my opinion, uh, Halloween was a uh, a waste of money to begin with. Oh. If that's been known history. I am not a fan of Halloween. Never have been. Uh, no, you just like, lost like and no matter years. how many times uh, uh, anybody remakes them, they're still going to be terrible. Oh, man. Even if Rob Zombie touches it, especially if Rob Zombie touches it, it will sickle. Oh, oh you're brutal. <laughs> you're brutal. Okay. Terrible. He's mm -hmm. almost as bad as that M. Night Shyamalan guy. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong? Yeah, no, no, and, no. Uh, and Quentin Tarantino. And, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, so your other like non human slashers, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Uh, Chucky. I mean. Is that really a slasher fan? I mean, his primary weapon is, you know, uh, a knife. He was, he's actually, you know, the uh, imprisoned soul of a serial killer. Well, we're talking, I mean, slasher fans. Come on. Good classic one like Pieces. Okay, Pieces. Tell me about Pieces. Pieces was, uh, I'll tell you what Pieces was. Matter of fact, it's very fitting to the guest that we have today. It was a child who he thought he was kind of sadistical anyway, growing up, never really 
kind of like the omen. He never really was right. And what happened was his uh, mom always told him, no, no, mom and dad, you know, having uh, family issues and, and, they, and mom was trying to raise him the best she could and she didn't have money to give him the stuff he wanted and he didn't see it that way. So he uh, took an ax and killed her. Took an ax and killed her and then he grew up to uh, be a psychotic. Okay, so what's the name of this movie again? Peace. See, that's not the right movie you're talking about. You're yes. talking about a different film that's called... I'm just kidding, I mess with you. Because you do this all the time. Uh, no, I watched this movie. Oh, you watched it? Oh, yes. I watched it. Oh, you watched it. All right. Yes. Okay, so... We can try and uh, go off your... Uh, keep you from looking at your interns list Actually, here. Actually, Pieces was... Uh, what he got in trouble with, actually, what made him kill his mother, and this was a killer, the satirical part of it. He was doing a puzzle that a friend of him gave him at school that was a triple X. It was like a new Okay, okay. I was gonna say, it was I, a nudie puzzle. I was going to say, what kind of friend gives you a puzzle? Because you're not, you know, it was here's a, a jigsaw puzzle. puzzle, but, you know, now that you said that. He was putting the nudie puzzle, puzzle together. He got busted. Mama disciplined about him. He didn't take it right. He killed her with an axe. Then is when he grows up later, he starts killing women and cutting them into jigsaw pieces to create the perfect woman jigsaw puzzle. Okay. All right. It was, had its good points, but all in all, kind of like one of your good movies. So what do you think about The Burning? See, The Burning... It was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the burning doesn't get quite enough love that it should. Um, it didn't do as well at the box office as, say, Friday the 13th. But uh, I believe it came out before Friday the 13th. Uh, I'm not and, sure. And uh, guess who did the effects on it? Who? Tom Savini. Tom Savini. Yeah, so basically it's uh, an early thing. Uh, a lot of people steal from the movie. Like, it doesn't get the love, but, like, all the other films sprout from it. Sure. Uh, groundskeeper who was burnt to death uh, by a prank from the other kids at the camp. Yeah. And he comes back to get revenge on the, the students, the, the counselors and stuff that he believes are responsible. And he's a burnt, disfigured serial killer. Kind of sounds like Freddy, doesn't it? Kind of does. Killing people at a camp. Sounds like Jason. Yeah. So, I mean... Spoofed. Uh, well... They had the idea of what was going to be good. They just didn't execute properly. And these other directors and writers saw it and said, we can do something better. But if you get a chance, go out and check The Burning. The Burning. I got a good one. Happy birthday to me. Wow. Good one. That's pretty good. I've pretty got good. a little history on that one as well. Oh, you got history. Okay. Yes, I do. J. Lee Thompson, the director of that movie, Mm -hmm. was filming that movie and uh, My Bloody Valentine at the same time at the same location, which My Bloody Valentine was released later. Yeah, it was all of, uh, it was a big trend at that time to have your slasher film centered around a holiday. Mm -hmm. Halloween, Friday 13th, birthday, Valentine, Guy Fox Day, Arbor Day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. And originally, when My Bloody Valentine came out, the original title for that movie, when it was incepted, was Groundhog Day. It was originally going to be Groundhog Day. But another movie company said, uh, no, we've already got that movie out. So they had to change it. Fantastic. Change it. All right. Uh, let's see here. So... You're going with the obscure early 80s and late 70s stuff, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the modern day stuff? Of course. Have you seen uh, High Tension? No. If I could recommend any film to anybody out there, High Tension is uh, fantastic. It's a uh, French film. There's uh, with English subtitles or there's an English dub out there. And you've got... Um, Two best friends spending their basically their uh, summer off from college at one of the girls' parents' uh, place, and this killer shows up out of nowhere and 
kills the family and takes the girl hostage. Another girl goes after her, trying to save her. Huge plot twist that would put that sounds like hostile, uh, oh. but it's older. Oh. Huge plot twist at the end that would hostile put, was real gross anyway. It was real graphic. Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, realize I never wanted to backpack across uh, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> what about Hell Night? Oh, uh, was that a uh, Jamie Lee Curtis? In that one. Uh, Linda Blair. Linda Blair. Uh, and that was screen. eight years after she did. That was the first movie she did after The Exorcist. Because after The Exorcist, a lot of the movie people was kind of like, oh, no, no, no. They really thought that the public would turn against them over The Exorcist because of its, you know, religious nature and stuff. So the, a lot of movie companies didn't want Linda Blair and then when they tried, when they, you know, she casted for Hell Knight, uh, it was eight years after that. So you what's know, the uh, story on the Hell Knight? Is, uh, she's a possessed woman in a castle. Oh, she's playing possessed again. She is. She's a possessed so she's been older repossessed. woman. She's been repossessed, yes. People come to the movie. I mean, come to, come to the movie. Come to the castle. Um, they don't understand that she's already possessed. And she's killing them off one at a time. Well, don't, don't, don't. How do they not recognize when their friends is possessed? No, 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 no. She was, uh, other people was invited to this historical castle. Oh, so they've never lived. No, no. Okay, gotcha. and she was a resident of it. She was one of the people just living there like the, a maid. Okay, gotcha. there. And they didn't understand that she was possessed. And some of the groups, they would come and they would notice that one or two or three would disappear. So, how did she originally get possessed? Never did say. For not liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's what happened. Uh, yeah. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. All right. I'll even drink one on So, uh, we're tying this whole topic of uh, slashers into our field trip we took this week. Where did we take, where did we go, Bourbon? We went to Civil Axe Throwing. Let's take a look at that uh, field trip we took right now. Hello, fans of uh, Bumpin' Night TV. We're here at Civil Axe Throwing with Brian Berry. Tell us about the place. I'm Brian Berry at uh, Civil Axe. We're an uh, axe throwing venue here in Chattanooga where you come pull off some steam, hang out with friends, compete against somebody, and kick somebody's axe. Good. So, Guaranteed fun. So I know his name is uh, Civil Axe Throwing. Doesn't sound like there's anything civil in that. How does that name it's, come it's together? It's pretty like civil. We, we had no injury. So no injuries. No injuries. Splinters is the most common injury, but no injuries. Everybody's pretty safe. You have coaches hanging around, make sure everybody's safe, follow the rules. So you got coaches and instructors. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? For seven months. Seven months? Well, that's 700 times longer than me. What about you, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of uh, what kind of uh, physical attributes you think most people would need to, to throw a, a weapon like this? Because that is a weapon. Be able, it's a tool, weapon, and it's actually. Do you think we can train this beard while we're here? Probably, probably. Wow. You actually get a therapeutic workout when you throw an axe. Really? Yeah. yeah. So how much does the axe actually weigh? This axe weighs a pound, point seven five. Mm. Same size like my steaks. Yeah. Yeah. The small one weighs a pound and a quarter. Okay. So, uh, are there leagues, teams? Can we rent this place out for a party? We can rent this place out, team building, for parties. We do bachelor parties, bachelor parties, birthday parties. Um, you name it. We do a lot of um, team building, different jobs, corporate events. Oh, uh, you could do that with my team. It'd be <laughs> bad blood between us. And You'd be surprised. No trust falls here. <laughs> Surprise. I don't know if I'm holding a hatchet. Is it an axe or a hatchet, or well, is there a special name for that? They're hatchets, but we call them axes. Okay. And we just keep it simple. We're shared across the board, axes, but they are considered hatchets. Okay, what's the difference between axes? Axes are bigger, axes. hatchets are smaller, and you have tomahawks. Okay, so what does tomahawk fall in? Also smaller, and okay. you use the tomahawks. Axes, much Vikings use those. So is this? And then hatchets, you know, every day you use camping. Okay. So is this like a uh, 
throwback to Vikings, or is this more like for lumberjacks who are just bored? And it's pretty much game? both. Bring out your inner Viking, your inner lumberjack, whatever. Which are you, Pat? Inner Viking yeah, or uh, lumberjack? So what kind of what kind of things do they throw at here? We throw at a target. We follow the IATF, International Axe Throwing Federation, which okay. gives us guidelines for landing our targets, and we throw at that target. It has a bullseye and two other rings and two little green okay. dots, which are clutches. Okay. I got a target. I'm going to throw that <laughs> So you said this is relatively safe. Relatively safe. Relatively. All right. Uh, what about blindfolded? We have not done anybody blindfolded. Yeah, but it is BYOB, bring your own bourbon or beer or beverage. Beverage, no, beverage. Uh, beverage. I brought my own bourbon. bourbon. Brought yeah. Bourbon. yeah. Bourbon. And that gets kind of wild. People come in here bringing your drinks in. Okay, so you were serious about that. I thought that was a no, joke. No, no, serious. It's, 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 yeah. it's BYOB, bring your own beverage. So, so it's just a place where you tie up the, the hookers and you throw the axes <laughs> on your arms. Maybe and before. We opened up, so she's the club. So maybe yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, not now. That's a private party. Yeah, that's a private, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, uh, would you uh, care to show us how to do this and will you uh, take a few practice throws? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, there we go. That's what you got. Did I hear it? Oh, I heard it on board even. That's a fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. Hi, Barry. We were talking earlier about the. Uh, for the fee that you come in, you pay. Say so a person comes in, they buy a time. What do they get? Do they get like just throwing for 30 minutes, an hour? Or an hour is $20 per hour. A half hour is twelve fifty an hour. Okay. Usually people that do twelve fifty dollars half hour are like, man, I wish I would have done longer. Yeah. So it goes by pretty fast. An hour is $20 an hour. Behind the center is $22 an hour. hour. You come in, you fill out a waiver, and then we give you a demo, like 10 minute, five, 10 minute demo. And then we let you go at it. There's games, different games you can play. 21 is the most popular game. Okay, 21. Uh, what would you say would be your biggest demographic, women or men? Both. 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 It's 13 and up. And uh, we get 13 and up. Yeah. Young men, old men, young ladies, old men. So do y'all do any competitions? We do tournaments. Do they do do tournaments? Do tournaments. Yeah. Uh, just check our Facebooks at Blackstone and Chattanooga once a month and see if we post anything about a tournament. And it's fifty dollars for three hours of Blackstone. We have three different games we play, and the winner gets um, money, trophy, free vouchers. Oh yeah, so we're gonna tie this right into the uh, hack and slasher episode. You got any favorite horror films with uh, Friday the Thirteenth? Oh well, American Psycho, My Bloody Valentine. Oh, oh My Bloody Valentine. That's right. I like that. Have you seen the uh, one uh, called uh, Hatchet? Hatchet. I haven't seen that. One. Oh yeah, the main character is uh, Victor Crawley. It was like a three part series. Oh, you gotta check that out. Oh yeah, you get a chance check out Hatchet and uh, like Bourbon's going to later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you got. Uh, Friday Thirteenth, which is fantastic. You've got what Michael Myers. Uh, any other you can think of offhand? Well, you we got, got uh, Freddy Krueger axes. I mean, when it's not oh, Christmas that. time, there's Freddy Krueger axes. Freddy Krueger axes. So I married Max Murderer. I married Max Murderer. Okay. You, you got, got the burning. burning. You could do some non-Halloween moves like Rambo Five. He did everything. He had hatchets. Yeah. Hey, uh, tubes, he newest, did all kinds the of newest bad axe movie is uh, John Wick 3. He does yes. some bad axe axes. Yeah. Turn around and nails him right ahead. Well, that was legit. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, my favorite was uh, My Bloody Valentine. That's that, was, that was awesome. That was one of my favorites. Now, did you like the original or did you like the remake? Or I like the remake. You yeah, really like the remake. remake? I really did. I like the remake. Now, I like Jensen Ackles, but I thought the remake was. Awful. It was not good. <laughs> it was in 3D though, so that made it a little better. You know, everybody likes 3D. Right. Well, I uh, appreciate you letting us come out here again and uh, yeah. plug Thank it you. one more time. We got like a Facebook or any of that stuff. Civil Axe Throwing, Chattanooga.com. We'll have all of the links for Civil Axe right. in Instagram, the description. Facebook. Follow us. Like us. Check us out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like my swag, all that stuff. Civil Axe Throwing. All right. Uh, 
I had a little problem with the target because uh, Bourbon was uh, behind me making fart noises and uh, he was also going no, 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 like in cash. I was not. And, uh, and my contact had a tear in it. And, and uh, <laughs> my whiskey was uh, extra full. Yeah, so. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> and for those that knows, I hit it on how many times? 12. <laughs> how many times did he hit it on? <laughs> Who stayed late and continued practicing is now on the league. Some other guy I didn't stay. I went and drank a little bit of cigars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we're going back to the uh, slashers and uh, everything. Cause, oh, talk about the axes. Hatchet. Ooh, yes. Hatchet. All right. Hatchet's almost a, a parody of the uh, serial killer film that... Uh, was corny and silly, but great effects for the deaths. And uh, I think it spawned, uh, they turned into a trilogy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> you did see it. There's three <laughs> films that you need to go and watch. It's uh, the character, it's got uh, Kane Hodder in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jason, another slasher. Another cheap WWE movie. Oh, oh God. No. <laughs> So uh, if you would uh, comment in the bottom there on uh, your favorite slasher films and uh, whether you think they need to be supernatural or just uh, deranged human, let us know. Uh, like, subscribe. What else they need to do? They need to share, share, share. Well, share not not do we have any merchandise they could buy and where they could buy it at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have links in the description below talking about all of our t-shirts and cool stuff and uh, all of our... Uh, we've got a Patreon account that has now started. We've got exclusive footage. It's going to be only on Patreon. All right. And as yeah. always, uh, we kill the guests. We don't have a guest, so that means I get to kill first. Oh. Zigzag patterns. Don't be yeah.